Bon dia, bonjour, buongiorno, buenos dias. Maybe the most important thing about this panel is the possibility of contrasting the evolution of sociology of education in our countries. This presentation is the fruit of a collective effort. I have consulted around 15 colleagues in, on specific aspects of this presentation, as well as on the text on which my contribution is based. In what follows, I will review what sociology of education in Spain has produced since 1990, when the first National Sociology of Education conference was held up to the present day. This output is so immense that inevitably more than one contribution will be left out. I will structure my presentation around different topics. The first is the successive meetings of the group of sociologists of education. I will then go into the issue of sociology of education teaching in universities and baccalaureate. From there, I will go on to analyze what have been the main influences that have contributed to building sociology of education in Spain. I will then describe the most important topics addressed by sociology of education publications. Finally, I will take a stock of the influence of sociology of education on public policy and the educational debate. Beyond the curation of sociology of education chairs in Madrid and the Basque Country universities in the 1980s, Sociology of Education began to take on its own character in 1990, the year in which the annual Sociology of Education conferences began. In Spain, sociologists who wish to do so have the possibility of being members of the Spanish Federation of Sociology, EFS. You are going to hear many acronyms. I hope the PowerPoint will ease understanding me. This federation organizes its own conferences every three years, although from 2019 it intends to make it once every two years. The year in which this conference is held, the Sociology of Education group is subsumed into the Spanish Federation of Sociology Conference. This allows not only other sociologists who do not have education as their main field of research to join Sociology of Education meetings, but also sociologists devoted to Sociology of Education to participate in sessions organized by any of the other sociology groups. Nine years after the first conference, in 1999, it was decided to create the Sociology of Education Association, ASE. There was some discussion about the suitability of creating this association outside the Spanish Federation of Sociology. Perhaps this had much to do with the fact that a significant part of the members of the future association were not sociologists, but would come from a pedagogical or philosophical background. In 2008, the association created the Journal of Sociology of Education, RASE, a journal devoted primarily to sociology of education, which, however, does not close its doors to specialists in areas other than sociology. In 2011, at the conference held in Granada, a schism took place in the Sociology of Education Association when the researchers belonging to Community of Research on Excellence for All, CREA, which had made considerable number of contributions to the conferences, decided to leave. As you can see, there are arguments in every family. But here, fortunately, things end well. From this point on, this group started to organize its own conferences, which are not exclusively about sociology of education, but about different disciplines devoted to education, such are the conferences of International Multidisciplinary Congress on Educational Research, organized by the Mediterranean Association of Sociology of Education, AMSE. In addition, it created a journal, the International Journal of Sociology of Education, RISE, index as a scopus. Many of its papers are written in English from different academic disciplines. Nevertheless, both associations continue to exist until their gradual disappearance, largely as a result of their integration as a research committee in the Spanish Federation of Sociology, Research Committee number 13, thus concluding the schism of 2011. Over time, 
most of the people involved in the association are trained sociologists, so nothing seemed more logical than joining an organization that brings together all branches of sociology. As of 2017, the Committee of Sociology of Education is responsible for the management and organization of the Sociology of Education conferences. This committee is one of the largest in the Federation of Sociology. It currently counts 88 researchers. In 2015, the first Iberian Sociology of Education conference was held in Lisbon. In July 2017, the second international meeting was held in Córdoba and was attended by about 100 researchers, mainly from Spain and Portugal. This meeting was attended by representatives of the Italian Associazione Italiana di Sociologia, with whom a third joint international meeting was scheduled to take place in Milan in May 2020, postponed to May 2021, this precisely today, due to the coronavirus pandemic, which was joined by colleagues from the Association Française de Sociologie, Réseau Thématique Sociologie de l'Education et de la Formation, and in which the Association Portuguesa de Sociologie and Cesar de Sociologie de Ducasau also participates. This proposal, the proposal of this group, is that the annual meetings should have an international character from Southern Europe in the future, including Greece and Malta. Already in previous editions, the important presence of Portuguese sociologists had been noticeable, and now we are in this scenario in which we intend to regularize meetings of the Southern European Sociology of Education. Well, it is not for me to talk about the future, this will be the subject of another panel, but perhaps we should go beyond Southern Europe and incorporate other countries of the European Union. The European Sociological Association already has a specific sociology of education panel. Sociology of education is currently a subject taught in almost every sociology degree. Likewise, it is also taught in master's degrees related with sociology, educational policies, inequalities, socialization, gender, culture, educational research, migrations. It is also tough in the teacher training degrees, infant and primary, and in the master for secondary school teacher training. The sociology of education is concerned about the non-existence of the subject of sociology in the baccalaureate. Sociology is only taught in the baccalaureate in Catalonia. It was once taught in the baccalaureate in Valencia, but it was removed. The new education law allows 50% of curricular autonomy, and this opens a window of opportunity for the return of the subject of sociology in the second year of baccalaureate. In 2005, a group of sociologists at the University of La Laguna, in the Canary Islands, conducted a small survey among those involved in sociology of education. In it, they found that the Spanish sociology of education had a strong French influence. Half of the opinions pointed to the French tradition as the most decisive in our sociology of education. The most praised author was Bourdieu. The most mentioned book was Reproduction, written with Jean-Claude Passeron. Distinction was the second one, and this is followed by Education and Society by Emile Durkheim. And the next one is a book by Carlos de Lorena, Repressing and Liberating, a book non-translated. It could be said that most of the Spanish sociologists of education today do not read much French sociologists of education, in the same way that the Spanish sociologists read very little French sociologists in general, or only read the best known and most widely translated into Spanish, for instance, François Diver or Bernard Lai, with a few exceptions. However, as can easily be seen from the publications, now things are quite different. In fact, the main influence has been Anglo-Saxon for years. One could mention the enormous influence of authors, not necessarily sociologists, such as Michael Apple or maybe Harry Levin. Nevertheless, there is no doubt about Bourdieu's enormous influence. There has been a recent small revival of interest in Bourdieu, as is also the case with Foucault in the Anglo-Saxon world. A Spanish Journal of Sociology is about to publish a special issue devoted to Bourdieu. There are so many topics addressed by the sociology of education that it is difficult to avoid the temptation to draw up a long list. 
according to the webpage of the Spanish Federation of Sociology, the topics of interest had focused on social inequality, training, work, employment, educational transitions, youth, family, educational policies, teachers, migrations, intercultural education, gender and sexuality. Possibly, several of these topics could be grouped around a constant concern for the sociology and what could say for educational analysis, which is no other than social inequalities. Issues such as schooling and vocational training and baccalaureate, school failure, early school dropout, grade repetition, students from low-income backgrounds at university, social mobility and education, social differentiation between public and private schools are at the heart of the sociology of education production. Although few sociologists have devoted themselves to analyzing the PISA data, its results have been part of the sociological production. There is even a book that addresses the futility of PISA for schools. Undoubtedly, the most relevant issue in recent months, and hopefully only for a few months, is that of coronavirus. As in many other countries in Spain, we are doing analysis of the impact of the pandemic. The social of education could not be an exception, and the result has been two issues of the Journal of Social of Education devoted to this topic. The first one was published in April 2020, and the second one in early 2021. The first one was an emergency issue in which the journal invited several sociologists to offer a first approach to find out what was happening with the school. The second one, a more in-depth issue, includes more developed papers with contributions from Portuguese, French and Argentinian researchers as well as Spaniards. The other journal, the International Journal of Social Education, also has published a monograph on COVID in 2020, which had had a great impact. Part of the social education publications originates from researchers outside the committee of the Spanish Federation of Sociology. Within this federation itself, there is a group devoted to a stratification that also works on sociology of education issues, mainly educational inequalities, and here the influence of authors such as Boudon, Goldthor or Breen is considerable. Gender inequalities have been also a major topic. The Committee of the Federation of Sociology number 12 is specifically devoted to gender. It is a group that outnumbers the Sociology of Education Committee, as in the case of the stratification group, some of its members also belong to the sociology of education group. Gender differentiation and inequality, displaying of sexism in the classroom, the inequalities between the educational performance of girls and boys, or the implications of co-education have been the focus of its production. We should also mention the socio-political analyst group. As mentioned above, there are two specific sociology of education journals in Spain. In addition to those, there are other sociology and education journals. Especially among young people, resorted to Anglo-Saxon journals is the order of the day, given the scarcity of Spanish journals with the GCR status. As you can see, there are several research groups.
After more than three decades of continuous conferences, social youth education in Spain seems to be strong. It is one of the groups with most members in the Spanish Federation of Sociology. It has a significant number of regular researchers at its meetings. The group detects serious promise in attracted younger researchers. Much of the consolidation of the discipline is due to the development of schools of education and the teaching of education degrees in the different universities in Spain. Perhaps it would be a good idea to convene all social education teachers or at least to set up a web page that would allow them to establish mutual contacts with each other. As far as I know, we have no data on how many sociology of education teachers we have in Spain. We have evolved from being a sociology of education with a strong influence on French sociological production to a sociology that increasingly uses English as a lingua franca. This has resulted in a significant presence of the Spanish sociology of education in the international arena. The production of social education in Spain is very large, and I apologize if anyone does not feel fully represented by what I have said here. In fact, the systematization of this production has been my most painstaking and delicate task in making this presentation. I would suggest to creating another web page hosting our publications. In terms of research and publications, this development has been uneven across Spain and in the quality of the work. As mentioned above, it is difficult to determine to what extent Spanish society considers sociology of education to be a fundamental reference when it comes to analyzing the reality of education. In short, despite the tax that still lies ahead of us, the balance of the social of education in Spain is clearly very, very positive. So we live in the best of all possible worlds. Thanks for your attention. Obrigado. Merci beaucoup. Grazie mille. Gracias.